mate. Sorry? You can't be taking pictures. Yeah, I can. I just did it. It's fine. We're in public here. It's no problem. Are you going to also have the same energy with you? Sorry. Pardon? <laughs> Are you going to have the same energy with you? I'm not around there. No, but... But we're in public, mate. You can't be telling me I can't do this. We're in public. It's the direct. It doesn't want you taking photos. Yeah, but I don't work for this set. I'm a free man. Free man. I can do it. It's no problem. Well, I've asked you nicely. Well, nicely. Nicely would have been if you just let me carry on about my business. Did you just call me a prick? Don't touch my camera, mate. Don't touch my camera. Are you, are you a real policeman? Don't touch my camera. No, but don't call me a P-R-I-C-K. No, but I, we're in public. We're in public. Okay, you tell me what I've done legally wrong here before, before you tell me off like I'm a child. Okay, okay. Okay, so then it's not your concern, sir, is it? If I've not... Well, obviously your presence is causing a bit of an issue at the moment. Oh, you mean someone grabs my camera and I swat their hand away? All right, well, I, I, I swatted his hand away. Yeah, I moved it. You actually touched me. I just moved out my way. I wouldn't touch other people's... I wouldn't, I wouldn't touch people's equipment, sir. Go away. Go away. You made uh, you, you fuck off. You fuck off. Right, now, now we are making the here. Well, not really, not really. Not really. Come on, if there's like little children around, maybe, but, but a little argument or two grown ups. Come on, you know that bet as well as I do. After lesbian Nana Gate, you know not to do this. Sorry? Well, as a free British man on a British pavement, I politely say I don't need you to tell me I can stand here causing issues, what it is, is basically professional camera people have a go at the little guy and you stand up for the big guy. You're standing up for the Pharisees, mate. You'd probably have sided with the Romans against Jesus, for all I know. Anyway, good day to you all. say she looks like your lesbian nana. In it, give us that phone mate. Oh fucky, I got a machete in my bag, I'll fucking stab you up bro. Blood, 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 this is our neighborhood. Who the fuck do you think you are, yeah? Yeah, yeah, fucking stab you, man. No man, I'm a ten-year-old little criminal. I've been shoplifting, man. Here's a bronze bust of Albert Einstein. Professor Albert Einstein. Now, the film Oppenheimer by Christopher Nolan was primarily about Judaism and communism and the threat of espionage. Now, there is a, an issue with ideologies when you're meant to be an American, but you might hold an ideology such as socialism or communism. There is an issue with ethnic religions. You might be an American, but you're part of a religion that has people in Russia. So it complicates things. But let me just tell my viewers that of the four American spies convicted of selling secrets from the Manhattan Project to the Soviets. All four of them were Jewish. All four of them were, a mem were members of the Jewish faith. One sec. The familiarity is still there despite generations of outbreeding. <laughs> L Liverpool, Liverpool, wait, live poo. Straight down there, you get the other end of the walkway or the motorway, and uh, here, oh shit, Laura, hi, and here's uh, this end, 
There was either a big road or walkway, a dual carriageway through the center of Liverpool. And it is no longer here. And it did connect to those two over there. There. No, 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 no. Tunnel under the Mersey in it. Ach, bach, sach and krach. I love Paul, says the Ford Ranger, but I'm more of a fan of Matthew, Luke and John myself, but hey. Here's the Municipal Hotel on uh, Dale Street and directly opposite, you've got this big abando. And we're so central, you can see the sea over there. There's this, the docks. And uh, I can just imagine this as expensive flats and just how profitable it's gonna be for the developer when they do it, because uh, it's quite nice. Okay, we're at a giant building here on the waterfront in Liverpool. There's the Liver building there. Yes, you wait. Uh... Monocle Man just passed us. It's uh, saying Crown Court for the purposes of the TV show they're filming here, Crowd Release. Please read this. If you're in the shot, it'll be on now. Uh... Yeah, we're okay. Yeah, it's some TV show or movie that's pretending to be a Crown Court. They've got all the fake police here as well. Let's have a look. Yeah, fake police, not real police. Nice rig. It's like a whole net, a back brace stable body cam. Hi right, guys, you guys actors or real police? We are, uh, yeah. uh, actors. Actors. Yeah. Police actors yeah. The hesitation had me worried there, I was like, I better not be a real cop. I just recognize you. Oh, do you recognize me? From, uh, Talk and YouTube. Thank you very much. No, good stuff. Well, the thing is, I tell you what, the, the, you actually look exactly like a real policeman. Yeah, so. That is yeah. The point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah. say you're really pretty. Oh, well, thanks. Really, really oh, I feel like giving someone a compliment. Oh. Dude, you're a handsome guy. I just wanted oh, to say. You. There you go. Good man. There you go. <laughs> and this guy, he knows my channel. Look. Follow my channel, Toby Armour 5 on TikTok. That say that again nice and loud. Toby Armour 5 on TikTok. Toby Armour 5. Follow that, guys. Is it Armour based? Like, or, or is that your surname, Armour? That's my stage name. I see, yeah. Toby Armour, but I do a lot of armed police. Oh. And, uh, TikTok channel is mostly armed police stuff. Very interesting, oh no. That's, that's kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, cool. Toby Armour 5. Cool, all the best guys, yeah? We're going to get shots around the side. Take care. Oh, you're very sweet. See, that's the kind of monitor screen you need to, to do it properly. 25 FPS. Oh, they're also in a 180 degree shutter angle. ND filter, 0 0.6. Temperature, 5,600K. Very good. Here's a Broadway by Ellsworth Kelly, painted in 1958. It represents man's incompleteness in fitting into a square. As you can see, the diagonals are badly fitted, and the red represents life and the iron-rich lifeblood that the artist gives over for very little reward. Or it's just a really wanky red square that someone got overpaid and a bunch of lovies were like, in a masturbatory, self-congratulatory circle going, oh, it's amazing. 3D suspended boats. Funnily enough, I was on a podcast with the vegan David Rams, and uh, in a conversation with Google Bard, the AI, it said that an ethical way to farm fish would be to suspend them in a fast-flowing mist with VR goggles for the fishies.
And uh, here I see all these model boats suspended on springs. Springs? Strings. In it. Now is this for some advice swimmers? Stay on the surface and it doesn't matter how deep the water is, okay? Okay, directly in front we're waiting for the tee off at Royal Troon. If you want a ferry to the Isle of Man, you go down the grey bloody thing there, that fourth of road bridge thing. And I've never been to the Isle of Man and my viewers deserve to know that the Isle of Man is a British territory. It is not a part of Great Britain. It's as much a part of Great Britain as the Falkland Isles are. And that's true story, even though it's in the Irish Sea. Now, how did the British allow the Irish to name that bit of water the Irish Sea? You'd have thought that they would have named it the English Sea. <laughs> put the Irish in their place. That's a colonia colonialism joke, guys. I don't really want to put the Irish in their place. They're very fine people. The ones that aren't bomby, that is. Oh, another one. Oh, too soon, too soon. There's no troubles around here. Let's just walk along, wait. One sec. So here's the famous uh, disinfection tunnel for the cruise line people on their on their way. Have you had the uh, sheep sheep dip, madam? No, no, good stuff. Where's the cruise going? Just out of interest. We'll end up in Amsterdam. Amsterdam. Ah, oh, that's why it's the city's full of Dutch people. Thank you. Nice. Thank you. All right. Usually you can walk right up to the giant cruise ship, but because they're 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 boarding, uh, they don't want your average yokels. Going up the canal to Leeds, a lot through Manchester and Salford Keys. Yeah. What you think we're stupid? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I, I was just like, oh, okay. <laughs> That's that wonderful moment when people think you're American and they try and pull your leg about. <laughs> yeah, it's going up the Rochdale Canal to to, to Bradford and then on to Leeds. <laughs> Okay, look at the orange light on the side of the building. Yeah, we're in high summer here, but it is a, a British summer, so it's a bit dark. You can see cars with their headlights on at uh, <laughs> one in the afternoon. Now, as you saw earlier, a bit of a, you know, is this real world or exercise? A cop moving forward, uh, is, it, is it an actor? Is it a real cop? And great, great, oh, let's see what the lady in the dungarees is saying. Let's see, she's got some, she's got some good news. What's the dungaree lady saying? Good man, look at that. Are you guys extras? Oh shit, we're, we're getting rolled into something. Let's get out of here, look. They're lining up. Let's get out of here. Don't know what, what, what is going on here, wait. They're lining up for their booster. <laughs> What's going on? Look, they've even got a guy that looks homeless. I don't even think he's real, look. Wait, is he real? I need to ask him. Can you hold that, please? Thank you. Yeah, please, yeah, if you can, could speak into my camera then. Tells you right there. A television provisionally entitled protection. And the rest is like legalese, you'll be in the shop. Yes, like, all right. But is the homeless guy really homeless or is he fake homeless? Fake homeless. Fake, but he was, I just literally saw him begging. He's a character actor, he's like Daniel Day-Lewis. Thank you very much. All the best, mate. Take care. See ya. So, look at that. So, basically, I'm not a real YouTuber. I'm an actor pretending to be a YouTuber. I want to see how far that gets me. I know. <laughs> they are. Hey, guys, you're right. Yeah. But these guys are cool, they're from Total Action Vehicles. Give them a free plug, look at that. <laughs> nice one. But yeah, they're, they're, the, um, they're usually the British media industries take their jobs very seriously. Yeah, very territorial. Very territorial. It's because by pulling out a small camera, it's like I've pulled out a 12 inch dong. <laughs> and they're like, whoa, <laughs> boogie nights. <laughs> Right, with that body posture, playing on his phone, there's no way that's a real cop. Actually, it is 2023, you never know these days. We are in the era of the strange cop. Um, 
what a cop out. So uh, here we go. I like seeing the production assistants getting all assistanty. Here we go. Oh wait, here's a news guy. Look, he's got a big dummy VHS cam. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. You know, the, the Charlie Veach method is um, if you want a, a street scene, you, you film a street scene. If you want some reporters, you, you film a reporter. If you want some police, you film police. But it's more fun, I guess, if you get it all fake. It's all fake. All right, I've turned the camera so you get all building, no sky. But if you want it flat, there you go. That's illegal in general. Uh, in Liverpool headquarters. And it's beautiful. It's not very often you have a, a major building that's just like a corporation that has its own anti-car rammings from the religion of peace, car rammings of peace, that we had in Nice, so much peace. So as you can see, they've put black and yellow stripes so your average person doesn't crash into it, or a cyclist in the, in the fog. But uh, here at India Buildings, they have a concern about the terroristas sandinistas. Martins Bank Buildings. Now, viewers, is that limestone? Is that limestone? And obviously that's granite. Uh, but is Liverpool Lime Street called Lime Street because of the limestone? That moment when the Liverpool Merseyside police knows that Charles Veach is arriving with his dangerous terrorist photon collection device. The man is a 24-7 walking Intel gathering hostile reconnaissance agent. But, uh, no, but seriously, um, I, I don't know why there's so many police here. Let's get a shot of them. One sec. Are they even real police cars? I think so. It says police on the upholstery in the sheet. Now, why are they all here? Are you real police or actors from the film set? No, no, we're real police. Okay, yeah. Okay, good. Um, I'm looking for a cop. He's quite a big guy. He featured in some of the kind of like police camera action. He's got like a tarot card on his left arm. You don't know who that might be? Like a kind of... Not at the moment with us. Sorry, no. No? Oh, I see. Sorry. Anyway, I'm trying to do a joke. You've got a tarot card on your left arm. Look. So you do. Come on. Show us the tattoo. Sorry. 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 No worries, anyway. Look at that, your mate covered for you well though, so you didn't know who it was. <laughs> okay, we're back on the main drag of Lord Street. Lord Street, not residential, was it pedestrian? <laughs> Everyone turns around, stares at me when I start narrating. I'm, I'm sorry for having a beautiful, beautiful voice. Voice of an angel. Voice of a radio DJ. Wait a minute. So uh, sometimes it's nice to uh, walk down, hold the camera, the Panasonic Lumix S5 Mark I, hold it as steady as you can while still maintaining forward momentum. And I really enjoy the light play between the bright whites and blue of the sky with the more shadowy region. Hello. Oh, you're shouting at me, but then you get upset when I turn the camera. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> the guy wanted to shout hasta la vista at me, and then I make him the star, and he gets all upset. But because he sat there begging, I'm not going to press the point. <laughs> he suddenly realized, oh, shit, I'm claiming 1,800 pounds a month in disability benefit, and I'm, and I'm, <laughs> and I'm here jumping up angrily to challenge the cameraman. Anyone else get that massive urge to call animal services on the people that force small puppies to sit in the street like this? Now, what about the Liverpool police, the Liverpool council? They're okay with this? It's like the uh, solar system. You've got one giant tennis ball being orbited by a bunch of little tennis balls because in the 3D space-time continuum mass or well, density and mass warps space-time and makes things spin around it. Now you ask why, that's just it guys, don't question the physics. If the United
United States of Lesbica was a country. Let's see if we can get it without the lights behind it. Nope, you can't get it without the lights behind it. So, it's soft, it's soft. Woody, Woody, come here, Woody, come here. Look at that. Come and say, say hello to all the viewers. What breed of dog is this? He's a, he's a lurcher. Lurcher. Lurcher, but he's a Scottish deer hound. Scottish deer hound. And busy collie cross. He looks like wow. a Wow. He's a very nice doggy. Very Viking dog. He's got. He's very passive. Yeah. Until he sees something like. A fox or a deer, yeah. and then he turns into Hannibal Lecter. And how does he act around cats? Uh, indifferent. He doesn't mind I the cats. He's, he's a superior being. He is, he is. I had a Doberman that I think that my dog's ancestors had some ancient feud with the feline world, and yeah. he wanted to massacre every cat. Oh but uh, but uh, nice but doggy, thank you. He just loves it. Aren't you a good he boy? So much He's a life. good boy. Yeah. Grand Central Irish Village, Nelly Foley's Bar. Very big Irish uh, contingency in Liverpool. Kind of might have uh, led slightly to the Scouser accent and the anti anti English sentiment when uh, the rest of the country was saying "God save the King." The the Scousers were saying "Fuck off, you twat." What? Anyway, this is a Charlie Veach show production on the Charlie Veach channel from Liverpool City Centre. It's a bit more aesthetic, a bit less defensive and chavvy than Manchester. You'd think the Scousers were a bit more like, yummy, but that's. They're not. They're not! Oh, oh sorry, bud. Sorry. So, let's get some shots of these guys. Oh! Okay, we're gonna go back to uh, walk then. Don't like it, walk then. Wait, it's too, too dark. Action. Okay, good morning from Manchester, Victoria. I saw some things on the, uh, on the interwebs. Some people saying, no, that's not real. And I thought, I recognize that building. We're in a... Uh, the Metrolink entrance at uh, Manchester, Victoria, but check this out. They're all welcome, but some are more welcome than others. Look at that, the psychedelic South African flag, the uh, baby blue and baby pink, sergeant stripes. So everyone's welcome, but some are more welcome than others. Two legs bad, four legs good. Okay, welcome back to Liverpool. Now, uh, just in Liverpool Lime Street Station. Have you ever, like, used a public facility, a toilet, that smells like the latrine in a UN refugee camp in high summer in the Democratic Republic of the Congo? Well, the toilet's here at Liverpool Lime Street, and the other one that I actually complained to the staff were the gents' toilets in Manchester Central Library. And the excuse of the the building manager was that due to insurance reasons the toilet cleaners cannot use bleach and I said well don't you think they maybe should use bleach because I feel like I'm going to develop gonorrhea just from my nose and he said well you know it's a balance of health and safety and I said dude you, this is a this is Great Britain this is the main library in, in a major city the toilets literally smell like shit and piss had a child called fucking this 